Hi, thanks for joining me. My name is Patrick, and we're here for another episode of Hitfire's Latest Hits. Have you had a customer who's asked about uh, 5G and the expanding network and wants to get more information on boosters and things like that? That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about signal boosters. And today I have a very special guest. He's been on the show before, and uh, he's bringing a lot of great information because SureCall has a new product to help you with that customer. I'd like to introduce Gord Austin. Thank you, Patrick. A pleasure to be here. You have a new booster. SureCall has a new booster. What is it? What can you tell me about it? Patrick, this uh, this booster has been uh, in development quietly since 2017. Uh, the change is evolutionary, uh, but significant and necessary. Mm -hmm. It's called Fusion Professional 2.0. The new booster provides, at a minimum, the same basic performance as our current five-band Fusion Professional. Okay. However, the 2.0 model amplifies three additional frequency bands, doubling the amplified spectrum. Uh, the booster evolution historically was from single band to dual band to five band and now to eight band. Uh, wow. because, yeah, that's that, it, and, and that's why it's evolutionary. The um, performance benefits of this eight band will be realized by most, well, many customers, but not all. It depends what the network's like outside. Uh, about three quarters of the site or towers are broadcasting at least one of these new, new frequencies. Uh, so it is significant. Um, the customer uh, performance benefits of this new eight band booster, faster data, and uh, maybe some problem uh, uh, resolution uh, that they would have had. So it's uh, it's significant. Yeah, yeah and, and for our viewers out there that don't realize there's over 19,000 cellular towers in Canada and uh, 14,000 plus uh, have one of these new frequencies, as you were saying, Gord. So that's pretty amazing. So why a new booster? I know we're kind of touching on it, but uh, yeah. yeah. What are the main reasons for this booster? Well, there's, there's two really. One, yeah. one we've experienced before in the past in this industry where the booster gets, the phone, the phone gets hung on an unamplified frequency and the booster stops working. And we've had that before when we went from dual band to five band, and we're having that today. Um, the other reason is just faster data. Customers want 5G, and 5G means more bandwidth, faster speeds, and we're amplifying double the, the bandwidth to bring more of the 5G in the homes. Yeah. Okay. So the carriers have come up with these new frequencies, mm -hmm. and uh, because it gives them a better solution and it's a better experience for the customer, they make that a priority, those frequencies. So you got a yes. customer who's outside, they're on this, everything's working fine. Then they go into the parking garage or the office building or whichever, and it's still looking for and hanging on. And that's the hang up that you're talking about. So yes, yeah. it's hanging on one of these higher priority frequencies that, that we're not amplifying with the older uh, boosters. Yeah. And what do you see as the sales opportunity here then? We think it's broken into four different groups. We have the you know, new buyers, premium consumers, yeah. Uh, then we have, um, you know, commercial. We think commercial, where you're, you know, small building, you know, uh, up to fifteen thousand square feet in the city. Uh, then there's the replacement market. So a customer has an existing booster and they want to upgrade. They upgrade right. because they're running into this hang-on issue, or they upgrade because they want faster data. And the fourth one is to be determined, but we believe there will be many commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. that are currently served by a five band booster where parts of the outside, maybe the window areas where the offices are, will get hung. And then the Fusion Professional 2.0 can address those window areas. Yeah, so you've got a large, like a pure layer warehouse or Amazon or, or anything like that, or, or any sort of even machine shop sort of place. Yep. And where all the work loading docks are, you don't need those covered, but then there's the office space and they've got the glass windows and maybe that's where they're getting hung up. Right? Yeah, where, where you could yeah. leak in. You could leak in from the outside yeah. and, and uh, these unamplified frequencies could... Uh, well, the phone How's that hang up issue? Yeah, yeah the hang up issue, exactly. Cool. exactly. All right. You've mentioned new data speeds. Mm -hmm. How fast is the new data? <laughs> we've, we've recorded up to uh, 217 megabits a second. And that was a customer that went from under 20 to that speed. So very significant increases. Yeah. Not all customers are going to get that. 
We've had some where it's gone, you know, from one speed to exactly the other speed going from LTE to 5G. So it will depend on the situation. Okay. Yeah. But you can get up to over 200. That's We've the, yeah, that's several <laughs> Yeah. I don't even get 200 at home, I don't think. But, <laughs> hey, well, maybe. Um, yeah. But, yeah, but you can also go from 40 and still get 40, but it takes care of your hang-up issue or it future-proofs you for when things change. So that's a great benefit there. Okay. Nice. You talked about the replacement market. Mm -hmm. Is the Fusion Professional 2.0 plug and play compatible with the Fusion Professional or original or 1.0? Yes, it is. It is. So that, that simplifies it. You just, it's 50 ohm and uh, away you go. Different power supply, but apart from that, it is uh, plug compatible. Okay. How do you know if your customer is going to get improved performance with the Surecall's new 8 band booster today? Well, you know that uh, he's going to get or she's going to get improved performance when you know that there is signal, Those one of those three bands is outside or in proximity to the customer. You can determine that either by the phone okay. or by the Surefall Tower tool. We've added a feature that filters for those three frequencies. So if you are looking at the tower tool, searching the customer's location, adding that filter, you will then see where the towers are and if they're in the area yes there's a good chance your customer is going to benefit today and if they don't benefit today we know they will benefit tomorrow because the network is continually evolving and uh, new spectrum is being rolled out and those will be listed as band 7 band 66 and band 71 correct correct those are the three new three new frequencies can we look at the new frequency filter that you're talking about and yeah, explain how that works yeah let's pull out the tower tool can we do that Sure. Yeah, I'll have Ryan, my producer, who's our great help. Ryan, if you could pull up the short call tower tool. Awesome. We've got that there. Uh, and as you can see, sorry, go ahead, Gord. No, good. We have a God's eye view of the earth and we have all the towers. We have 19,000. Uh, Ryan, could you filter for those three bands just to give it a, a generic? OK, so now we see that in Canada, there are you know 14,250 towers that broadcast those three frequencies. Let's be politically neutral and go to Winnipeg. It, it's the center of Canada, and yeah. just use this as an example. Okay. People are coming. All right, so there are the three new frequencies. And if you back out and show all the frequencies, just so you can see the nope. difference. No, no, back out hasn't changed the filter. Sorry. Just change the filter to show all. Okay, so going a little bit. Might little, need to zoom in a little bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So there we have all the frequencies. And now that if we just filter for the three, Oh, you get to see a little change. Yeah. Very little. So most of the towers in uh, in Winnipeg will be broadcasting at least one of these three new frequency bands. Now, what you would do ultimately is put the, the bullseye on top of the customer's house or building and then, you know, check for their specific location. But generically, that's it. That's how you'd use the tool to see whether or not uh, those frequencies are clickable. The, uh, can, I mean, they're, they're, the tool is, is, is wonderful and... Uh, and uh, we we're very pleased to be able to offer it. Uh, the other way you can tell Patrick is yeah. on the phone. And now I have an Android phone. Some of our customers are Apple, so it, it varies. But on Android, you can get more information. There is a, um, a free application that, uh, that I pulled down. And uh, Patrick, if you can pull it up, it will, uh, it will show what I see from my house. It shows what I'm connected to and, and the neighbor list. Okay, so here you can see that, that I'm hooked on to band seven. That's the that's the, the serving tower. Okay. And then I have a neighbor tower, a neighbor tower, a neighbor tower, and then a neighbor tower. But I'm being served by band seven. So in my case, it's very evident that I would benefit from this, uh, this new uh, eight band booster. So once again, your phone has looked at the priority and said band seven's the priority I want to be on, mm -hmm. but... Uh, because you're on Android, you can see the other frequencies in your area. iPhone, on the other end, if somebody has an iPhone, it doesn't show those other neighboring towers. It only shows the one you're connected to directly. That's really the big difference that you're trying to show. I, it is, but you could if you went outside with your Apple phone and you know saw one of those frequencies outside of your house. Yeah. Chances are, when you amplify it, uh, you would be uh, using it inside as well. Hmm, perfect. Other units. Mm -hmm. Going back to the name of this, other units named after the five frequencies of the support. So you've had the Fusion 5, uh, the Force 5, et cetera. Yeah. 
So why is this the Fusion Professional 2.0 and not the Fusion 8? <laughs> you know, that's a that's a great question, one we kicked around a lot. It has to do with positioning in the channel. Okay. We, we very much uh, wanted Fusion Professional to be that crossover product that would be in the dealer store to serve both the retail clients and also the commercial installation. Commercial installations, very profitable for our customers. So the 2.0, Fusion Professional 2.0, is a pursuit of that dual personality where we want a product that can be a premium retail sale and also professionally installed by our dealers. That that was really the reason for that brand. And that's what I really like about the Fusion Professional, whether it's the 1.0 or the new 2.0, is like mm-hmm. you said, um, it is great for the person who wants to do the self-install, right? Yeah. It's, it's great there, which is also great for your dealers because your dealer's mm-hmm. got one product. It's only taking up one space on the shelf, but they now have two customers they can sell it to, right? Person who wants to do the self-install or if somebody wants to do a much more larger commercial piece. Yeah, we really respect the dealer inventory. It's being in the store in the dealer is, uh, is, uh, is an honor. Why does it have the dials on it then? Do you, do you have the one there with you? I can't remember if you yeah, have. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's got all so, those, the blue dials. What's the purpose of those? Well, first of all, all boosters must have automatic gain control. It's the law. And okay. software will adjust the gain to make all the requirements that are set out in uh, ISCD rules. The dials are not for consumers to touch. The dials might be advantageous in a small number of situations. Uh, once we're on the market, uh, Patrick, we will, you know, solicit feedback and uh, and cycle with advanced 5G training. There are instances where manual attenuation of the dials will improve performance. It's not for the consumer; it is for the professional installer only. And that's that situation where you have a really powerful signal outside almost too powerful and it's causing if i'm if i'm remembering correctly right and that's what you would want to do if you want to dial it back a bit or see i'm not a professional installer here's the proof why i should be touching that <laughs> there are there are a, like a half a dozen different oh. situations where you might want to uh, additionally attenuate a band attenuate a band. perfect uh, okay yeah. <laughs> see this is why i don't touch the dials yeah. um so is that digital then is that a digital change or is that analog no, no, no. We are, we are proudly analog. Think of it like vinyl versus MP3. There's a benefit to analog, and and at the edge of the network, that benefit is, uh, is significant. It's, it keeps us connected further away from the tower. Um, so we are analog and uh, proud of it. Okay. So I've heard about uh, Cellfi. Cellfi analog or digital, and what do you think about that? Um, they're a, a, a narrow dual band booster, an anachronism actually to years ago. Um, they amplify a very small amount of spectrum, uh, about 75 megahertz. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, Patrick, I've been in the wireless industry for a long, long, long time. And, and I've seen industry, I've seen you know companies come and go. And what I will say without any uh, uh, bravado is that narrow band companies always die. They have yeah. the last 20, five years yeah. well and the cellular carriers um your internet providers everybody's talking about broadband right yep. it's been you can see it specifically hey here's broadband 5g is the new broadband everything's going to be broadband so you can just see yeah there's definitely a purpose to it if anybody want to go back to your old dial-up that's a narrow band kind of thing right so yeah yeah, yeah. The, the future the future is broadband absolutely okay so why would most remote cottage customers doing a self-install type thing, or even, you know what, even commercially installing, some cottages are bigger than my house, uh, <laughs> why would they want a more expensive Fusion Professional 2 booster? Well, if they're at the very, very edge of the network, they would buy Fusion Professional 2.0 for the future. Okay. Chances are they're getting one of the existing five bands today. But there is an also reasonably good chance that they will be served by one of the new bands in the future. And cottage customers by and large are uh, um, 
you know, that connection is voice and data. So they're very data speed sensitive and being able to have a five band or an eight band, the eight band is going to give them faster data ultimately. And that's going to allow them to work from the cottage more productively. Well, and you can see, as you said, it's going to be quickly, it's soonly rolled out. I had no idea until we just spoke about this uh, a few minutes ago that there's 14,000 towers already with these frequencies. So it's already rolled out that fast. The carriers are going quicker and quicker every day with this. So, uh, yeah, I can see where future proofing is the way to go. So, mm -hmm. uh, you'd mentioned the Fusion Professional 2.0 does up to 15,000 or 17,000 square feet mm -hmm. of coverage, double the coverage of the original yep. Fusion Professional. Yep. Does that mean customers will get double the coverage in a rural cab cabin sort of thing? Oh, Patrick, that's an excellent question. It really is. And unfortunately, no. Okay. Um, the additional coverage comes from additional downlink power. So we have more downlink power and in the city, you know, we've got three and a half dB more. You're going to get double the coverage in the city. At the edge of the network, at the cottage, we'll provide about the same coverage as you get today with Fusion Professional. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, then once again, future proofing, as that gets stronger, then that could expand then. Right. Yeah. You, you, in the future, if you start being served by 600 megahertz, which mm -hmm. we believe travels further, bends better, propagates with lower line loss, then yeah, you could end up with better coverage when that band is available to you okay yeah. Yeah. so i've now won the lottery i've got the cottage of my dreams that i want yeah. how many internal antennas will this booster support because you know i'm once again i want a cottage that's bigger than my house so oh okay <laughs> okay so let me give you two answers in the city <laughs> if your cottage is in the city which is not <laughs> um, we got 12 dbm of downlink power that's comfortably going to support four antennas you know seventeen thousand square feet or more okay in the edge of the network, the very, yeah. very, very, very edge, yeah. Patrick, it might only be 1,500 square feet. Okay. So, okay. It, it so then I don't need four. It might be, might, might be all you need, but it won't be, it won't be 17,000 at the very edge of the network. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I could use, but those two internal antennas, I could use two internal antennas then to get more than 1,500 or so, or no? Yeah, you Give might. But, you know, usually at the very, very edge of the network, we yeah. suggest just stay with one and try to conserve what you have. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. make it better. All right, perfect. Well, that's good because I've won the lottery. I'll have my business. I'll need at least two of them. I'll need one for the business in the city and make sure I get coverage there and then the cottage, as I said. All right. Good. I, I think I know the answer to this. So is this a booster? Well, we've kind of talked about it. Is it for dealers and installers or is it for online resellers? I guess we haven't talked about it. Online reselling. Um, so we, sure call, yeah. in Canada, very much cater towards the, uh, the dealer and installer market. Mm -hmm. We are told that it is good and proper to support our brand online. And we are on Amazon, for example, through th third party partners to be able to show the brand, to support the brand for our dealer sales. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's there, but it's, it, our business is mostly focused on the dealer. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, and that kind of leads into with pandemic over the last two years, customers have got forced to, and used to buying online. Um, so, you know, why the focus on the dealers here and not just an online type market? Yeah. Um, in some situations, uh, yeah. we have seen uh, some of our competitors' brands that are sold online, um, prices become like problematic. They're not, okay. MSRP is not respected. That's a yeah. problem for our, uh, our dealer customers. So we try to manage that. And the second is it's some markets are a little bit of a wild west where, you know, we're not really, uh, they're not quality products we're competing with. They're just, you know, Low price. Low you get quality. what you pay for, right? Yeah, network noisemakers. So it's not yeah. not a place that we really cozy up to. Which is why we, and I'm sure other distributors within Canada, love working with your call because, yeah, you want to, you know, take care of your dealers. It's not all about the just spitting widgets out the door kind of thing. No. Yeah. So what do you see is next? Hmm. You know, the benefit of the booster industry is is it, it, we see the storm coming from miles and miles. It's like the middle of Saskatchewan. You can see it moving. Um, <laughs> Canada so follows the U.S. The U.S. leads. And then the cell phones 
have to be there to accommodate the U.S. market. And, and, and so we can see it happening. And then the frequency has to be auctioned in Canada. And then it has to roll out generally to, you know, 8,000 towers before we get excited. So with that forward visibility, I think we're good with 8-band for a while. All right. Yeah. All right. Do you think other manufacturers are going to come up with an 8-band as well? Will follow Surecall's lead? Yeah. So some are still selling dual-band, which is, they are what they are. Okay. Um, but I believe that anybody who's serious about this industry is going to step up and uh, and support the future with uh, additional frequencies. Eight would be the number that we chose. Uh, maybe they do seven, maybe they, they don't, but the future is broadband. All right, so we've talked about SureCall's new Fusion Professional 2.0. We've talked about its benefits, uh, 5G, faster data, better in building coverage, um, especially for phones that get hung up on the band seven, band 66, and band 71. Mm-hmm. over the original Fusion Professional. Mm-hmm. When does this amazing product launch? Buy it from your SureCall uh, distributor in Canada today. It's right. uh, supplies limited, Patrick, but okay. uh, it is uh, it is available and we would encourage our dealers to uh, to bring it in. It's uh, It was built for them. Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you very much for your time today, Gord. Thanks for all this amazing information. No, no, I appreciate the opportunity, Patrick. Thank you once again. Uh, you heard it here. Talk to your distributor today to get this new SureCall Professional 2.0 from, uh, for your customers and all the benefits of it. I want to thank Gord for joining me again today. i also like to thank my technical producer, Ryan, as I couldn't do this without him. And uh, please like us, follow us on Facebook and YouTube, follow SureCall on YouTube and such, on all your social medias, Instagrams, blah, blah, blah. And... We'll see you later. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thanks.